So the starter Pokemon for Legends EA may or may not have just been leaked. So if you guys don't already know, Riddler Koo is like one of the most kind of reliable leakers. And he's been in the game for a couple years now and he got a lot of stuff right in the past. Obviously these are leaks. So they could be wrong or like, you know, things could change everything. Leaks are not 100% guaranteed confirmed that this is going to be happening. But basically, a couple days ago, he tweeted out 358. And the only thing that comes to my mind is that the starters will be from generation 3, 5, and 8. Also, if you guys don't mind subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on this video, it really helps me so much and goes a long, long way. And also comment, what starter do you want to see in Legends EA? And here's the thing. The Legends Arceus starters were Cyndaquil, Rowlet, and Oshawott, which Cyndaquil is generation 3, Rowlet is generation 7, but Oshawott is generation 5. So Riddler Q said 3, 5, 8 which means Generation 3, Generation 5, and Generation 8, which is kind of interesting because Legends Arceus was Gen 3, 5, and 7. So is Riddler Q, was that a mistake by putting 8, or is this just something completely different? I don't see what else 3, 5, and 8 could mean, though. I mean, I don't know exactly how the starter Pokemon will work with future Legends games because we've only had one, and obviously Legends Arceus took place in the Hisui region, which is why we didn't get the regular like generation 4 starters because that game took place in generation 4 technically even though it took place in a long 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 time ago but that's on the topic of this video but what i'm saying is legend ZA takes place in lumio city which is kalos region which is confirmed it's kalos region it's already established as the kalos region so so why wouldn't we get the regular gen 6 starters you know what i mean and the only thing i could really think about is because if this game is taking place in the past, before X and Y started, maybe the Gen 6 starters have not been established yet. You know what I mean? Like, maybe the X and Y starter Pokemon have not been established as a starter Pokemon for that region yet. Like, this region could be so new, like, so just newly established where they're just adding the city, the Lumio City. And then later on, when X and Y take place, that's when those starter Pokemon are established as a starter Pokemon for the Kalos region. But for the time being of Legend ZA taking place it's going to be generation 3, 5, and 8 starters. So if that is the case, that would mean the generation 3 starter Pokemon would either be Mudkip, Trico, or Torchic. Generation 5 starter would be either Snivy or Tepig. And the generation starter could be either any one of the three. It could be Gurky, Scorbunny, or Sobble. But so the thing that I'm kind of confused about is if gen 3 starters are going to be in the game, or at least one of the gen 3 starters in the game, what are they going to do with the mega evolutions? Because gen 3 starters already have mega evolutions. Does that mean they're going to get a new mega evolution or, you know, they're going to have to do something to work around that if, if this is actually true, because a gen 3 starter, if a gen 3 starter is in the game, that's going to be pretty cool. I love the gen 3 starters. They're some of my favorite. And I don't really know how they'd work around the fact that they already have Mega Evolutions. I'm sure they're going to do something because we're definitely getting new Megas. But I'm going to get to all that. I'm going to get to all that like later on in the video. Because of this potential leak, this makes me think the game is going to be taking place way in the past. Like, obviously, it's the, the development of the Lumio City. But what's confusing is the trailer says redevelopment, meaning the city has already happened and already been built, which is confusing we don't have another trailer though yet, and official trailers has got to be released within the next couple of months. They're going to announce the Switch 2, I believe, before April because they said next fiscal year, which means the an entire year from the moment that tweet went out, which I believe was like around April or something. So before April 2025, we're going to get the Switch 2 official announcement. My theory is probably early next year. I don't... I don't think they would release it this year for the holiday season yet just because it's kind of late in the year. Like people have probably already started their Christmas shopping. Christmas is only like two and a half months away. So I don't see the Switch 2 being announced or released this year. And my theory is that we're getting another ZA trailer after we get the official announcement of the Switch 2 because I think the Switch, because I think Legend ZA is gonna be a dual release on the Switch and Switch 2. So they don't wanna give us any glimpse of how the game truly looks until we have the Switch 2 announcement because they don't wanna get it, they don't wanna give up any hints or secrets as to how, you know, the Switch 2 is gonna run with the hardware, the software, everything, blah, blah, blah. Like that is gonna, how that's gonna be with the Switch 2 because the Switch 2 is gonna be way more powerful than the Switch, obviously, which means the graphics of this game hopefully are gonna be great. I really hope the graphics are gonna be something good. Let me know what you guys think about the starter Pokemon. Do you like Gen 3, 5, and 8? I, I think it's just really interesting that he mentioned 3, 5, and 8 when it would technically make more sense if he said 3, 5, 7 because that's what Legends Arceus starters were. So I guess we'll see. We're, we're going to get some more information for sure in the future. I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm not a leaker. I don't know how to data mine all this stuff. And I don't know where he gets these leaks. All I know is Riddler Q is one of the more reliable leakers out there. Obviously, he has gotten things wrong. Every leaker is going to get things wrong. This could be completely 
could, could be completely wrong, but we're going to see. I, I guarantee within the next couple of months, we're going to get a new ZA trailer officially released by the Pokemon company. Something that I'm thinking about too is like, I feel like they're going to want the, the starter Pokemon to be able to have Mega Evolution. So they're probably going to want starter Pokemon that don't have Mega Evolutions already because we're definitely getting some new Mega Evolutions. It's confirmed that we're getting Mega Evolutions. It's not like confirmed that we're getting new Mega Evolutions, but you know, you could only assume that it's like a 99% guarantee that we're probably going to get a couple of new Mega Evolutions. So my guess is probably the starters, all three starter Pokemon are going to have to be, be able to Mega Evolve and have brand new Mega Evolutions that are going to be just, you know, unique and exciting and everything like that. And speaking of Mega Evolutions, like, I'm just really curious to see what other Pokemon get Mega Evolutions. You know, like, are we going to see different forms of a Mega Evolution for current Pokemon that already have? mega evolutions you know what i mean like an x and y version everything in the first trailer that they drop are they gonna are they gonna give us a glimpse at at least one or two new mega evolutions because at the trailer in the official trailer that they released at the very end of the trailer i believe it was there's like the the mega evolution symbol so maybe they're gonna do the same exact thing with the next official trailer that's gonna drop and they're gonna do that same thing but with an actual like glimpse of a mega evolution Comment down below what Mega Evolutions you would want to see in the game. My hope is for at least, like, like six or something like that. I mean, they can't give us a ton because there aren't, there aren't too many Mega Evolutions already out there. Like, I think there's, like, 45 or something like that. I'm, I know I'm wrong on that number, but it's, it's roughly around that number. So they're not going to give us a ton of Mega Evolutions. You know what I mean? Like, Mega Evolutions are pretty special, and they're also not going to give it to every single Pokemon out there. So they're going to limit the amount of Mega Evolutions that we get. We don't have any recent news of Mega Evolutions, as far as I know or any leaks or anything. I don't think Riddler Koo has said anything about Mega Evolutions at all, or at least in a while. I don't really want to scroll because all the old leaks are, you know, they're irrelevant now. These are all the newest leaks, the newest things happening. And I just think Mega Evolution is definitely the best gimmick for the Pokemon franchise that they've ever released. And I think most people probably agree with that too. So we're definitely going to get some cool Mega Evolutions, which I'm really, really excited to see. I'm also excited to see like the regional variants because we're for sure going to get some regional variants. I also just want to see like what Pokemon, like what the Pokedex is going to be like. One day, I hope we do not get a Pokedex cut. It's going to happen one day. I don't think anytime soon. That's got to be a huge game. And I could definitely see why they give us a Dex cut because there are just so many Pokemon and it would kind of ruin the the fun of having some old Pokemon return to a new Pokemon game, but at the same time, I'm like, dang, just give us every single Pokemon ever made in one game, please. That'd be so sick. Let me know what you guys think about this potential leak. Do you guys like Gen 3, 5, and 8 starter Pokemon? Personally, I think that's pretty solid. I definitely like Gen 3 and 5 a lot. Gen 8 starters, to me, are kind of like mid, you know what I mean? Like, my favorite Gen 8 starter is probably Grookey, and then Sobble, and then Scorbunny. I, I don't know. I mean... I would still be okay with at least one of them happening. I'd be okay with just one of them in the game though, you know what I mean? I definitely wouldn't pick the Gen 8 starter. I'd definitely pick one from Gen 3 or 5. Probably Gen 3 though, just because I just played through Gen 5. So if one of the Gen 3 starters is actually in the game, I'm definitely going to go with the Gen 3 starter, whatever that one would be, because I actually really like all of the Gen 3 starters. So, you know, that's going to be fine with me. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment anything down below. I love seeing your guys' thoughts and everything and responding to comments and everything like that, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.